going on Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives and of course it is the once a month gameplay day for Top Drives. Today I want to cover, you know, some pretty big events. The first one is going to be the, I don't know, the Caterham RST V8 Levante Finals and then we'll also jump into Desert Growlers and if we have time, maybe, just maybe, I will check out A Hurdle to Love. Wow. It's not like I need these red envelopes anymore though. I have completely finished the challenge and I would say that the, the nice, good-hearted person inside of me would say, hey, don't go for the red envelopes anymore. Give other people a chance. Yeah, too bad my heart's made out of stone, so no, I'm going for the ceramic pack, nah! But anyway, what do we start off with today? Desert Growlers or the Caterham? Let's start with the Caterham, it's, it's, it's a strategical thing, because if we start with this first, it means that the tickets will start loading for the next ticket first. The tickets, the tickets will start refreshing first. So anyway, um, 141st, as you can see, not looking very good, um, but this is the current hand that I am using with. Two King Dongs, I have the Prince Dong, well not two King Dong, I guess, you know what, the Royal Dong family could be gay and that would be fine, but we could also call it King Dong and Queen Dong, we have Prince Dong, um, we have a Volvo S80 and a XC40, so let's jump into it. Uh, yes, okay, I think there is an off-road. I'm using the wrong Volvo, actually. I should be using the XC90. We'll switch that out in a bit. Gotta say, though, I'm going to get so many freaking points from the 0 to 100. This final is skewed, okay, to the legendary dog. Like, notice how I didn't even make a pack review for, you know, the Volvo dong final. Instead, I'm just doing a gameplay video because I think it's as straightforward as things can get for this final. You want to get the legendaries, not the Volvo medium. No, not that one. You want the legendary dongs. Like, I feel like this is just a reason for like Hutch thinking, oh, you know, we've never had a final where these dongs were actually super key in. So this time we're going to make the dong super key. I mean, I'm not complaining because look at my hand, but like, yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I could probably still do. No, I probably couldn't. I think it's too late now to even do a pack review because this final ends in about eight hours time. So if I if I wanted <laughs> to make a pack review, I should have done it like three days ago. I'm sorry I didn't do it. Um, I was just so caught up with um, what you call it. You have the tiger. Obviously, the last like four out of five videos I posted. We're just yot 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 yot, which they don't get the most views, but I wanted to get the videos out there because it might actually help some people, especially considering that the final stage was a lot easier than I expected it to be. So that was really nice. Uh, got the Peugeot Quasar in the end, and it's quite funny because this was a much easier challenge for, in my case, a much better prize car. Um, obviously, the 177 they gave out in Horror Show is miles better than the atrocity that is the Project 8. But if you were out there getting the, the Quasar, then my god, that's, that's actually a really good owner. Like, that is genuinely a really good owner. But yeah, um, I would say that the Achilles heel in my hand right now is indeed the Prince Donk because 95 handling isn't enough. I know it sounds weird, but it isn't enough, especially those epics. They can hit 98 and 99. Now, I think that King Donk at one star can hold its own. All I know is that what's an absolute win from this final is that this is a final where I do not need to use any Ultra Rare Fuse. Zero. Zero Ultra Rare Fuse. And I love that. I love to save because that means that, you know, whatever amount of Ultra Rares I didn't need to use here, I can save it and use it for whatever the next final is going to be. So that is obviously like, you know, amazing news. But uh, yeah, I might have to use some Epic Fuse still, which will hurt a little bit because I used like 21 Epic Fuse <laughs> for the 208 WRX. But yeah, I mean, if I just use three, put it in the D8 GTO, give it 98 handling, then I think this, will, this hand should be sufficient enough. <laughs> Definitely sufficient enough. Um, so 0 to 100, half mile, quarter mile. This is my favorite track set. The one of all the drags. Yeah, I like that one. For once, it always seems like when I'm in a final, it's always the drag areas that what is, are what I'm afraid of. But this time, that, that just isn't the case. Yeah, 307 to 84. Only two star though. Aww. <laughs> I wanted to get three star all the way. Uh, I want to see what the top hands in my bracket is looking like. Obviously, as you can see, there's still room for people to join. So like 26 of y'all if you want to join. But let's see if we can make it into the top uh, bracket over here. Um, so let's continue. 
Uh, moving on now, Catherine and Raw. That's so cute. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, can I beat everyone? See, see what I mean? 97, 98, handling, all that is like a little cause for concern with my 95. Oh, even 96 gets me a little skeptical. Now, let's not forget that, you know, these King Dongs have 2.40 to 60, so it'll be fine. It's just that, you know, I'm really tempted to put upgrades into the Dongs. Um, I feel like I might not need to. I just want to because these are really, really good investments. Like, these are Dongs that I can use in challenges and clubs, especially clubs. As long as it helps me in clubs, I ain't even mad. Um, but yeah, let's continue. Let's let's just let's just go on. I want to see what the top 10 hands are looking like, if I need to put in the fuses or not. Um, in theory, I should be I, I should be going for all of these. I should be beating all of these. Let's give it a shot. So, Dane is next, so that's going to be a loss. This carding, hopefully that's going to be a win, I guess we're about to find out. We're going to win a lot by 0 to 100. We're going to win Twisty Circuit because that donk is like 1 star or whatever. Let's watch out all the races and see how it goes. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you're doing in the final. Obviously, I wish I had the XC60. That would have been the best card to use for the all-surface tire off-road area. So we do win that, which is amazing. Um... Which I did XC60. I, I wanted that Volvo SUV since um, the Viper GTSR finals. Couldn't get it though. Only have the 90 and have the 60. So, you know, 136 points. <laughs> ah, dude, there's a 0 to 100 on every track set. Like, obviously, it's, it's so obvious that, you know, the key cards for this final is literally the King Donk or the Prince Donk or the Queen Donk or whatever you want to call it. Um... Yeah, 0 to 100 on all four track sets too. This isn't like, oh, there's a 0 to 100 on like two tracks. No, every single track set has a 0 to 100, which is absolutely brutal if you do not have the King Donk or the Silver Donk. I'm just going to call it Silver Donk. But yeah, one, well, no, this is Twisty Circuit. And then this, this, and this. Yeah, I like this track set because... I, I have three legendaries for this track set. I'm looking pretty good though. I'm looking pretty good here. I feel like um, I would need to put in upgrades in all of the donks if I wanted like tier one, but like it's just one extra card. Yeah, we're already in the top 10. I want to see what the top hands are looking like. Like, do I have to put an upgrade in the handling? I feel like I should though. Like 2598 is not a bad investment to have. So yeah, okay. Yeah, what is this? This is, uh, oh, one, two, two, and Wow, that is almost max. That is actually insane. We have a max D8, we have a C30, and an XC60. That is actually a very strong hand. I can't beat that. Um, wow, look at that. This one's max. This one's also max. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, I think I would have the best hand here if I maxed out all three of my legendaries. That's really what Top Drives has become. Max your legendaries or die. I think this should be fine though. So let's check it out. Um, so you're gonna put in carding, 0 to 100, twisty circuit, carding, and G Force. We're gonna lose G Force. I'm not sure if I win carding. I was told that this Volvo, like SC80, whatever it is, this hatchback. Hey yo, what? Oh, because this is 233. Oh, you poor soul. Why would you do that? You shot yourself in the foot with that. I was like, how the hell did that win? Yeah, this loses. Yeah, the C30 wins, I think, everything against the S80 besides one track set. I think it's like slalom or whatever. Okay, that's actually good. Um, that means that I don't need to put an, uh, an upgrade in my D8. I mean, I do, because if I went up against the 76 donks, then we'll have a problem. But yeah, 250, yeah, two star, that's, that's still looking pretty good. So... What was that guy's hand that was like really good? What was his name? Was it VIP Gundam? <laughs> I think it was him. Or was it 4-1? Now I'm gonna check out the rest. I wanna see what Kelly is running though. Kelly's got 29 L's. Can't be that strong if it's 29 freaking L's. Ooh, an ultra rare. Oh, but this is max, isn't it? 2-2, two, two. yeah, that's max. Okay, so we lose this one, but we do win this. We win this, but we lose these two. Oh, so we can't win it. We actually can't beat this guy. Um. Really wish I had the XC60. I really did wish we had the XC60. Uh, everyone has the XC60. X, X660? XC60. What is the. Oh, okay. I thought that was. Okay, so this is a maxed. Oh, yeah, I can beat this. Yeah, the, the epic isn't even maxed. So this is one win. This is two wins. I might even three star. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna three star this. Why is this guy even in here? <laughs> 
Now this hand isn't strong at all. Alright, this is going to be an easy 3 star in the top 10 ranks. That's what I like to see. Um, not the best hand. I don't have the best hand here, but I think I should have enough. I'm already 10 and 0. Um, I think I do have one more ticket to my disposal though, so let's just see how far we can get. So far, I haven't seen any hands which really warrants me to put an upgrade handling into the D8. I want to see what Kelly's running. Oh, okay, I finally can. So, Kelly has a lot of losses, and that's a really strong hand. God damn, son. That's maxed. Two. That's a lot of maxed, man. That is a lot of maxed. All right, one point. You know what? I'm, I don't think I'm going to put it. I don't know if I put a handling upgrade in this. I'm just going to stay around like 8th, 7th, and I'll just stay there, you know? I, I used a lot of fused material in the 208 WRX, and in all honesty, this prize card, this Levante, isn't like, it isn't the best thing in the world, you know what I mean? Like, you don't really need it. But I would try and win it, I'll still try and win it. But let's see how many win conditions we can have over here. Uh, we can beat Elvis, I think? This will be a draw, this will be a win. Um, this should be a win, this should be a win, yeah, 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 yeah. that's three win conditions, this should be alright. Should be aight, should be aight. Alright, so that's gonna be a draw, it's gonna be a win. Um, see, I'm thinking that I'm gonna win G-Force, but I think I've, I feel safer putting it on the slalom. I win G-Force there, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever investment I put in these dongs is fine. It's not like I'm upgrading some RQ80 piece of trash. Like, I'm actually just maxing out what is a really good legendary already. Um, yeah, they got some crazy good hands. Now, I'm a bit afraid, man, because Kelly's got a really strong hand, and Kelly has 29 losses. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what Priscilla is running. Hey, yo, I knew Women International Day was like a couple days ago, but they're really running this bracket. We got Priscilla, Angel, and Kelly. All right, well, let's jump into Desert Growlers. Now, this one, I'm not looking forward to. I know it's all off-road, and I know that they're drags, and whenever there's diesel requirements and there's a drag off-road, it's basically like you have the Bentega diesel or you go die. I don't have the Bentega diesel, so I'm now going to proceed to go die. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just see. I mean, if this one just ends in an L, I might just end it, honestly. Uh, yeah, they're gonna put you in the half and the canyon and the... Yeah, I'm, this isn't even the right hand to start off with. I should be running the off-road. The thing is, man, when it comes to diesel off-road, if you don't have the Audi SQ5 and the Bentayga diesel, you're gonna get absolutely shafted. And I mean, like, y there, there is no room for error. This, this entire, like, niche is based off two cars. If you do not have the Bentayga and you do not have the SQ5, then you are a dead man walking. I have neither of those, so this event is well and truly hot. I could make it a little better in my favor by putting in these off-road tires, but... <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> just no. This, 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 just, this just ain't it, man. I got so many cars max, but this just ain't it. I don't even think it's the great, it's the best idea to put the standard tire four-wheel drive in the drag. I know it has a 3.90 to 60, but I don't think it's gonna get even close to the F pace. We'll check it out. As you can see, I put really little thought into the cars um, that I, you know, what track sets I put them in because an L is an L. We do win that by, oh, that's a crap ton though. Yeah, off-road tires, I guess. You know, it might be a better hand if I just ran five of the Frontier attacks or like five Frontier attacks and one Dragster. The problem is I do not have a Dragster. Oh, that wins. Well, that's nice. <laughs> That's n okay, so I guess, yeah, I'm going to use that BMW for the drag. It is semi competent as long as it beats the F type. It's not gonna beat the Bentega diesel, but at least it beats the F type. Let's see how far I can get with this then. Two super rares. Two super rares. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna lose. Win. Hopefully, win. Hopefully, win. The thing is, these are Canyon Tours and Hairpin Rows. They're, they're a little more forgiving to, like, you know, lower 0 to 60 cars. But it looks like we're still winning these races, which is cool, and we lost one. It was probably to the Bentega Diesel. But yeah, honestly, when it comes to like diesel events like this, SQ5, Bentega, or die. I, the, the, I would say that the Frontier Attack is actually a very useful car, and it's helping me a lot. Um, if I could have like an SQ5, like if I had an, a Bentega and an SQ5 to replace um, this BMW, which I can't seem to click for some reason, yeah, the 750D, and the QX30, yeah, I think that would be literally the difference of, uh, you know, tier f 3 and tier 1, I would say. I think the hand that I have is tier 3. 
Um, because this isn't, you know, a final, and it's only a 100-person bracket. I mean, if this was like a 500-person final bracket, then the hand I would have is probably tier 5 or tier 6. But, yeah, I'm in tier 3 right now, and I might even be able to break the top 10 position right now. But, I mean, how full is this bracket? I mean, it's it's 80 or 80, 85 percent. It's not that bad. Um, but, yeah, half mile. I mean, we're surviving. We are surviving. Okay, so far we are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to lose Canyon Sword. Canyon Sword is you know, geared towards faster cars. But we'll see, the Turek this is crappy. Okay, yeah, the Turek's crap. I mean, the, yeah, I mean, if it was, if that was a max outshare, I think that the Frontier would've lost. But against the Turek, yeah, we would've won that. Yeah, I forgot what car I was racing against. I saw Volkswagen and I was like, yeah. Well, we, we literally got shafted on the first race though. We literally lost zero to 268. But that's where we are for gameplay day today. We went four and one with uh not the daily we went four and one of desert growlers and like i said you know i'll try and go for the ceramic pack if i can i'll be awake till the, the events on anyway because i'm gonna be seeing out the caterham rst v8 finals i mean let's see if i can get this because i'm gonna be completely honest with you if you're watching this video and you're you're thinking which car is gonna be better tier three or tier two i'm gonna be real with you man i mean tier four or tier three the Acker HSC is way better than the Spiker. This, we've seen a lot of good epics, you know, uh, given out as, you know, um, an epic prize card for tier three. I've seen the Mustang GT4. I've seen the wide body. I've seen, you know, the Lotus Elise Cop. This one isn't one of them. This one is just hog garbage. If I were you, I'd rather go HSC over C12. So if you're in a position where you can tier three, just go for tier two instead because when you think about it the only difference is the car the gold amount is the same the cash amount is the same and the amount of carbon fibers you get is the same so yeah for me i'm either going for tier two or i'm either going for tier four but anyway that's gonna be it for today let me know how you're doing in the finals down below anyway hope you guys have a great day and stay safe wash your hands and blossom out peace Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girls everywhere with the drop that looks Swing it side to side as we slow dance to the night When I'll hold your perfect head and take you out just for a ride Wish our milkshakes at the diner